you can record all your mileage in QuickBooks. In an earlier chapter, we set up our vehicle, so now let's start adding in mileage. Before we do that, however, there's one thing we need to do if we want to charge customers to reimburse ourselves for that mileage. We have to set up an item as a service. In the Company section on the home screen, click Items and Services, then I'll hit the Control N key on the keyboard to create a new one. I'll leave it as a service item, and in the item name, I'll call it Mileage. You could leave the rate blank to enter in a rate every time, or you can put in the current mileage rates. It's non-taxable, and you could put in an expense account for it. I'll click the blue OK button. Now we can close out of this screen and input our mileage. To do that, select Company from the top of the screen and choose Enter Vehicle Mileage. The first choice you need to make is the vehicle if you have more than one. You can choose the trip start and end date. In this case, I'll choose the date that the tasting party took place. Now you can put in the mileage start and end dates for the car. QuickBooks will automatically calculate the total miles for you. In the Customer Job area, here's where we can say who the customer is, in this case, Callie Reynolds. We can also choose the item. I'm going to choose the mileage item that we just created. I could put a note in here, and I also want to make sure that there's a check mark next to Billable. I'll click Save and Close. Now we can create an invoice to bill against jobs and customers. I'll click Create Invoice. There's a few things that we could do here. For example, we can click Add Time and Costs manually from a button here. But in this case, I'm going to select the customer job, which is Callie Reynolds. And it knows that there's an available estimate here, but I'm not billing against that, so I'll click Cancel. This pop-up is referring to the mileage that we just entered. QuickBooks knows that we already have billable time and cost, so I'll select the outstanding billable time and cost by clicking OK. From here, I'll change to the Mileage tab. Here, we can see the mileage that we just created, so I'll place a check mark next to that and click OK. My invoice is created. I can also include a description. When I'm done, I'll click Save and Close, and my invoice is created. That's how you can track billable mileage against your customers and jobs.